Hello there, my fellow YouTubers. What is up, and how are you today? This fine Friday. It's always it's always awesome when it's Friday. Um, but, but before we get into this uh, tutorial video, first thing I want to say is um, this coming Monday, I will not be able to make a tutorial video for you guys. And that is Monday the 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 twenty fourth. Um, I'm gonna be gone up to Canada because not only is it the best place ever, but my uh, Kamiak or my my high school show band, my high school is Kamiak, but my um high school is going on my the marching band from there is going up to Canada to go and perform up there. So I'm sorry I won't be able to make a tutorial video that Monday. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to show you guys a pretty neat effect, um, kind of a security camera effect, um, using Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro. Um, here's the effect in action. As you can see, that looked pretty rea uh, realistic with all the uh, kind of noise and the color correction and everything. So let's jump in today. All right, so here I have my blank footage. I'm just gonna play it for you guys. Just, I'm walking in over here. I'm using a wide angle uh, lens, if you, in case you guys are wondering. Um, this may help for this effect, just because it's kind of more of a security camera-ish thing. Um, but here I'm just kind of over here, getting my Hershey's bars, and then I'm leaving, just like the total beast I am. So I'm not gonna need any of the audio, so I'm just gonna delete that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that clip and come up here to Effects, Video Filters, and um, Video, and that's going to do a viewfinder. Now, this viewfinder is kind of like, you know, you've probably seen it in uh, my Man vs. Mild video. Um, I would annotate it, but I'll probably forget, so link in the description. <laughs> so if we come up here to the Filters tab and we um, see the mode, let's um, change this to a custom one. And because this is kind of like a security camera-ish thing, Let's call this um, cam one, short for camera number one. Now we need you know adjust the size of this um, to you know whatever we want. We can also adjust the color. Not only that, but where it is, like the location of it, like over here. You know, it's up to you guys. So I'm just gonna kind of like leave that as it is. Maybe I'll bring this down to more of like a size 25. That looks a little bit better. Um, so now the next thing we want to do is with that filter, um, let's come up here to effects one more time, video filters. Uh, when uh, stylized, and we're gonna do a bad TV filter. Now this is gonna kind of give us a lot of the sort of security camera-ish look. Now th for this one, there is some magic numbers that kind of I think work pretty uh, pretty good. But you know, play around with it, see what you, um, works for you guys. So for the waviness, let's just bring this down to a, a zero, because I kind of feel like that's nothing we want to deal with. Also, let's bring the uh, roll to a zero. If you want to put the waviness to maybe like a one or a two. Go ahead and do that, but I'm not going to do any of it because it takes a while for it to render. Um, static. Now, static is probably uh, one of the more important things, um, just because you know security cameras aren't that high quality; they're in HD like mine. So if we bring this down to maybe like about you know maybe like 0.30, I don't know. Let's try like 0.3. 0.3 looks pretty good. Let's keep that as it is, and also um, let's see what else we need to change. Um, maybe the line brightness, if we want to like bring up the line brightness a little bit. Um, this will kind of give us a little bit more of a, like, it's overexposed and it's not supposed to like look professional or anything. So now the final thing we want to do is we're going to add a color, um, color correction. So effects, video filters, color correction, and now color corrector. Now there's a bunch of different things that you guys can do with the color correction. Um, if you guys want to have more of kind of like a black and white, um, traditional cam or traditional security camera, just bring the saturation down all the way to zero. And I'll make it kind of look like something like this. Um, if you notice, though, the uh, camera one sign, the kind of, yeah, my phone went off, sorry. But the kind of the camera one lo uh, logo right here, if, you know, that's kind of in black and white too. So let's say if we wanted that to be red, all that we'd have to do is bring like a picture on top of it of, you know, maybe just like some green, just like a solid green mat um, from, you know, Photoshop, or if we just make one here in Final Cut. And then we apply the uh, that same filter, the uh, viewfinder filter, onto that, and key at the green. This will allow you to have the camera one sign still as a red. So just in case you guys didn't know that. Also, I apologize if I kind of sound a little weird. I'm I'm sick right now. <laughs> so let's um, bring up the saturation again because I'm gonna have more of kind of a greenish feel. So let's leave the uh, saturation just about there. Now let's just bring the balance and um, kind of flick this over towards here, more towards the green. You know, it kind of looks like 
everything's like a little bit kind of darkly lit maybe i don't know i, I think it just kind of looks cool also let's bring up the blacks a little bit just because you know we wanted to make it look like it's not supposed to you know look you know correctly so if that makes any sense at all i don't know okay so that's pretty much how it is and now i'm gonna render this for you and by the magic of editing you do not have to watch this uh, render so i will see you guys once this is all done rendering that was probably like the longest eight minutes of your life huh <laughs> probably just kidding all right so let's watch this so everything looks pretty good you know we got the camera we got all the uh... if you kinda look we got all the static going on um... We got the kind of like the uh... lines in there between from the uh, bad tv filter you know all of these things that we can also adjust so don't think like any of these things are permanent um... but if you guys like this tutorial video uh... no i do not want to say this please subscribe to help support this i'm making these um... every like almost every week or every three times a week until about the midway of june um... then i'm gonna start making some short films for you guys so please subscribe if you like this if not then oh well but um... yeah also no video this coming monday so i'll see you guys on that note and yeah ta-ta for now